بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Dear respected brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In this program we are discussing the virtues of the first 10 days of the Hijjah However, as I said previously that I'm not discussing the virtues in a very abstract manner No, no, no I am discussing it as a concept. I'm linking it to our life, to our understanding, to, to, to this life, to the how Muslims should view this life, the outlook of this life, my dear respected brothers and sisters. And we said that Allah Jalla Ala selected certain times in throughout the year. Allah Jalla Ala selected certain places. Yes, Allah Jalla Ala selected certain people. Allah Jalla Ala liked those more than others. It is up to him to select, to like whatever he wants. Allah Jalla Ala said, وَرَبُّكَ يَخْلُقُ مَا يَشَاءُ وَيَخْتَرُ مَا كَانَ لَهُمْ الْخِيرَةِ Obviously, obviously, Allah Jalla Ala is what? Al-Hakim, Al-Khabir. Allah Jalla Ala is all wise. Allah Jalla Ala does not just select randomly. He knows. والله يعلم وأنتم لا تعلمون. He knows and we do not know. But we cannot question him. Yes. And he doesn't do things arbitrary. No, 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 no. He does things for حكمة. وما خلقنا السماء والأرض وما بينهما لاعبين. ما خلقناهما إلا بالحق. We have not created heavens, earth, just for fun. No, no, no. ما خلقناهما إلا بالحق. We created them for حق and on حق and by حق and According to Haq, subhanallah. Yes, according to the truth and for the truth, for the purpose of truth. So, Allah Jalla Ala selected certain times. And in those times, Allah Jalla Ala said that I like these activities in those times. For example, Allah Jalla Ala selected the month of Ramadan and Allah Jalla Ala encouraged us to. Do as much as we can do from the listed ibadat that we have mentioned during the month of Ramadan. Yes? So, during the month of Ramadan, we fast, we do more dhikr of Allah Jalla Ala, we do more salah, and so on, and we become more charitable. As we said, Allah Jalla Ala also selected another month, but in particular selected 10 days. Yes? Of the month of Dhil Hijjah. And Allah Jalla Ala made them to be very, very virtuous, maybe as virtuous as the last 10 days of Ramadan. This is his choice, Jalla Ala, and we have to submit to that choice. Subhanallah, my dear respected brothers and sisters, in the last 10 days of Ramadan, as we said, in Ramadan we do fasting, we do a lot of salah, we do i'tikaf. So there are number of listed ibadat that are performed in Ramadan. There are also number of listed ibadat that are done during the month of the Hijjah. And in particular during the first 10 days of the Hijjah. During Ramadan, we do one main pillar of Al-Islam, which is fasting. During the Hijjah, the month of the Hijjah, we also perform one important pillar of Al-Islam, uh, uh, of the five pillars of Al-Islam, which is what? Performing Al-Hajj. That's why the month of Ramadan is so important and the month of the Hijjah is so important. The first 10 days of the Hijjah are so important. Why? One of the pillars of Al-Islam is performed during that month, is performed during these 10 days of the Hijjah. Subhanallah. And that's why the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam encouraged us to put more attention to the ibadah in these 10 days of the hijjah Okay. The month of the hijjah 
as we uh, as we all know it is month number 12 of the lunar year and as we said that we as muslims follow the lunar calendar the lunar calendar is linked to the moon and the month starts by the by sighting the new moon in general but in specific the leaders should follow that guidelines which is sighting the new moon of ramadan and of the hijjah but we as muslims should follow what the leaders of muslims have established and if there are no specific leaders that we we follow then we follow the decision that is taken by the vast majority of muslims so when the month of the hijjah is decided by the leaders of muslims yeah then we go for that or we will follow the vast majority of muslims and whatever they have decided uh, i don't want to get into the fiqh discussion about that because that is not the purpose of this uh, show the first 10 days of the hijjah yeah are very unique days very specific days there is a very there are main there are two main hadith that talk about the virtues of these 10 days the first hadith is hadith ibn abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu and it is recorded in sahih al-bukhari in which he said that the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam said there are no days in which the good deeds are more beloved to Allah jalla wa ala than the first 10 days of the hijjah then the sahaba in one narration the companions were amazed and they said ya rasulallah ya rasulallah even the doing good deeds in those 10 days of the hijjah is more uh, virtuous than jihad then the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said yes doing good deeds in those 10 days of the hijjah is more virtuous than going for jihad except for a person who went for jihad with his life obviously with his wealth with all of his wealth and then he came with none means he died as a martyr and he lost all of his wealth that specific jihad is more virtuous than doing good deeds in these 10 days of the hijjah otherwise doing good deeds in those 10 days of the hijjah uh -huh. what kind of good deeds the specific good deeds the specific ibadat the listed ibadat doing them in those 10 days of the hijjah is more virtuous than jihad in general subhanallah al -Azim. the other hadith is hadith ibn umar in uh, Musnad al-Imam Ahmad in which the, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in which the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that there are no 10 days in which good deeds are more beloved to Allah jalla ala, very similar to the statement of Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu sorry it is very similar to the hadith of Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhu except that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam said فَأَكْثِرُوا فِيهِنَّ min at tahlili wa tahmidi wa takbir yes there are no uh, there are no uh, days in uh, that the, the the good deeds yeah this is the, the translation of the, of hadith ibn umar there are no days yes there are no days that the good deeds are greater or more beloved to allah jalla than the deeds the, the deeds performed in those days so this is what the Prophet ﷺ said or the translation of what the Prophet ﷺ said do plenty of tahleel which is saying la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah lahul mulk wa lahul hamd wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir and takbir which is saying allahu akbar allahu akbar allahu akbar and tahmid which is saying alhamdulillah 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 yes so do plenty of those of the good deeds subhanallah those dhikr in one narration one of the narrations the prophet ﷺ, uh, mentioned tasbih as well which is saying subhanallah but the main narration of ibn umar 
includes the three, saying لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد وهو على كل شيء قدير or just لا إله إلا الله saying الله أكبر saying what الحمد لله. So these are the two main ahadith that talk about the virtues of these ten days. سبحان الله. Allah جل وعلا selected those ten days as we said as very virtuous days. Allah Jalla wa'ala wanted us to perform hajj in them and Allah Jalla wa'ala wanted us to do good deeds in general in those 10 days, good listed deeds and Allah Jalla wa'ala in specific wants us to do more dhikr of him in those 10 days. Now, see, in Ramadan the focus is on fasting, yeah? The focus is on, after fasting, the focus is on reading Qur'an. The focus also is on sadaqah. This is the month of Ramadan. Now in the 10 days of the hijjah the focus is on what? On hajj. And after hajj, the focus comes on what? On dhikr of Allah Jalla Ala. Then after dhikr of Allah Jalla Ala, the focus is on you can say sacrifice, but mainly what? Mainly the focus is on Hajj, performing Hajj, and then the remembrance of Allah Jalla Ala. Now, just to mention one point, just to see that Allah Jalla Ala selects certain days for certain ibadat. Yeah, this is Allah, this is His will. Okay? Now, can we say that recitation of Quran, recitation of Quran, is virtuous in the 10 days of the Hijjah. Of course, it is virtuous in the 10 days of the Hijjah. What is more virtuous? Recitation of the of Quran in the first 10 days of the Hijjah or doing dhikr of Allah Jalla Ala, La ilaha illallah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar. It seems that, as we said, because the focus is on dhikr in these days, it seems that, Wallahu Alam, that we should increase the dhikr more in these 10 days. It doesn't mean that we do not read Quran, but what should we increase uh, from is, or, or uh, sorry, uh, on, or what we should focus on more is what? The remembrance of Allah Jalla Ala in these days. Okay? Why I mentioned this point, I don't want to uh, elaborate on it, but I mentioned it to see that, see, Allah Jalla Ala selected certain days and Allah Jalla Ala, uh, Allah Jalla Ala commanded us to do more of specific ibadat in those days. This is His will, this is what He wanted us to do. Okay? Uh, now, we also know that Allah Jalla Ala selected the day of Jumu'ah, which is reoccurring on a weekly basis. And Allah Jalla Ala, as you know, that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Inna a'adhama ayyamikum yawm al-Jumu'ah, the greatest day you have on a weekly basis. This is the explanation of the hadith, is what? Yawm al-Jumu'ah. Yes, Adam was created in Yawm al-Jumu'ah. Uh, Adam, uh, Adam, uh, Adam was taken from Jannah. Uh, he, he entered Jannah on Yawm al-Jumu'ah, he was taken from Jan Jannah on Yawm al-Jumu'ah. In Yawm al-Jumu'ah, the day of resurrection will take place. Yes? And there are so many virtues for Yawm al-Jumu'ah. Imam Suyuti, or one of the scholars, as Suyuti, he uh, wrote a book talking about the virtues of Yawm al-Jumu'ah and he counted over 70. Okay? This is a well-known book by Imam Suyuti, and there are many other scholars who wrote similar books about the virtues of Yawm al -Jumma. Okay, so this is what Allah Jalla wa Ala wanted. Similarly, Allah Jalla wa Ala selected the first 10 days of Dhil Hijjah, and Allah Jalla wa Ala wants us to be uh, more close to Him in these 10 days of Dhil Hijjah, by performing Hajj and by performing a lot of Dhikr of Allah Jalla Ala. We will elaborate on this insha'Allah in the coming episode. Barakallahu feekum and insha'Allah we will see you in the coming episode. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.